welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time we're going back to Mars. We're going to try and terraform it once again. But we're using a different corporation this time. We're using Helion. Uh, and I didn't go through the, the selection process. We'll go through it here quickly uh, because, of course, the title of the video gives it away as to which corporation I'm playing. So let's take a look at uh, the setup for Helion. Uh, the board is already set up, so I've got the uh, one city and one greenery tile twice placed out there. Uh, we're sitting at solo 14, and I forgot the cube to start our game, but we'll get that one set up as well for the first generation. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at our player board and the uh, corporation I'll be using for this solo playthrough. We have 14 generations to completely terraform Mars, oxygen to 14%, temperature to plus 8 and all nine ocean tiles placed out on the board. All right, let's take a look at Helion. All right, so I've actually placed the white cube here on the first generation, which we're going to be beginning here in a minute, and you put your own colored cube up on the solo start. Okay, so I got that straightened out. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the corporations as I knock the boards around here. Uh, it's just a little paper board, and I don't have the little uh, plastic inlay. I never did get it. So the two corporations I had was interplanetary, cinematics which would have started with 20 steel <clears throat> excuse me and 30 uh, mega credits and every time you play an event you get two mega credits so that would have been interplanetary I didn't choose this one you'll see here why in a minute but we have helion which we chose we start with three energy production or sorry heat production and we had 42 credits and we can spend uh, and our heat for mega credits so that's what we're playing with helion so we're going to see how we do with that corporation. So we start with our 42 mega credits. Uh, I did really knock this around, didn't I? That's why you get the little cube thing. We have three heat production to start, and everything else for solo starts at zero. Uh, try not to knock this board around again, because then I'll lose my space with stuff. So that's what we're starting off at. I'm going to come right back. We're going to take a look at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards we drew off the top of the big shuffle deck, which is like this thick. Um, and to see why I chose Helion over the other company because it had to do with these cards. We'll come right back, we'll take a look at these cards, we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can take a better look at them. Alright, so I zoomed out a little bit here, uh, just so if the camera will focus a little bit better on the cards. So we have ice cap melting, it's an event. Uh, you need to have be plus 2 Celsius though, of course we're starting the game at minus 30, uh, costing 5. Now, we have, now of the 10 cards, we can spend 3 mega credits each to keep the cards we want. The rest just get discarded. So that's ice melting, and it lets us uh, place one water tile, uh, but it requires plus two, so that's a pretty steep thing. We have adaptive technology costing us 12. Uh, your global requirements are plus two or minus two steps, your choice in each case. So this lets us have a little more flexibility with playing other cards based on the parameters on the board, on Mars. Uh, if we want to keep it, shuttles um, is would play, cost 10 to play. Uh, when you play a space card, you pay two mega credits less for it every time, and the requirements are 5% oxygen. We're not anywhere near that at the moment. Decrease your energy one, increase your production step by two. Uh, we have physics complex. For every six energy, you get a, a, a science tag put on here, so that can really pump up our science tags. So it has to do with victory points. Probably not gonna keep that one. We have a food factory costing 12. We can use uh, steel to help pay for it. And you decrease your plant production in one step, increase mega credits four. That's pretty good. You'll see here we don't really have any plant production. We have ants. You need 4% oxygen. Of course, we're not going to have that for a little while. Uh, and you get victory points for this card. So it's probably for solo play, not going to be of any use. Now we get to the cards that I think we're probably going to keep. Convoy from Europa. It's an event costing 15. Place an ocean tile and draw a card pretty cool. We'll probably hang on to that one. Titanium mine is also really nice. Let's just increase your titanium production one step, costing seven. We could pay steel for it. Of course, we don't have any steel at the start of the game. Import advanced uh, greenhouse gases, costing nine. Increase your heat production two steps. I think we really want to keep this one. And iron works for energy uh, to spend to gain one steel and increase your oxygen one. That's also a pretty good card. So those are our cards. So we're going to come right back here. Uh, I'll show you which ones I've decided to keep, which ones we're going to discard, and we're going to have to pay our price for it and get into the first generation. All right, so very quickly, we're going to keep ice cap melting. Uh, we're going to keep, we're not going to keep adaptive technology. 
We're not going to keep the shuttles. We're not going to keep the physics complex. Uh, we're not going to go for the food factory. Uh, we're not going to bother with ants. We are going to keep the convoy from Europa. We're going to keep the titanium mine, import the greenhouse gases, and we're also going to keep the iron works. So we're going to keep five cards costing three each. That's going to cost us 15 mega credits to hang on to those cards. And so now we can very properly uh, begin generation one trying to terraform Mars. So once again, we're going to come right back to look at the look at what we want to spend. We have uh, 10, 25, 10, we have 27 mega credits. We don't have any uh, heat right now to spend as mega credits because that's uh, helium special ability. So come right back and we'll start playing uh, cards and actions. Oh, and in the solo game, you get to play as many actions as you want until you can't play anymore and then it will be uh, on to the next generation. Alright, I've decided what we're going to do with our cards. Well, first off, we cannot play ice cap melting. We don't have the temperature requirement, so that just we're not going to play it. I'm not going to play Convoy from Europa right now. We're not going to play that one. We are going to play these three, though, and we have actually 27. It's a total of 27 credits. We have 27 credits, so that's 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. So we're going to be able to play all three of these for our Generation 1. First one is Titanium Mine. Uh, and just increase your Titanium production one step. So that will go into our tableau for uh, giving us a requirement there. So we're going to increase our Titanium by one. So we have one Titanium production starting off. Import Advanced Greenhouse Gases. Uh, no requirements. So the requirements would be on this left hand side here. So there's no requirements. It gives us these tags. Uh, but it is a one shot. Um, and so we're going to just increase our heat production two steps. So this is just an event. We increase our heat production by two steps up to five, which is really nice. We're going to be producing five heat. And we're going to set up our ironworks, um, which costs us 11. And it means we can spend four energy and gain a steel and increase oxygen one step. The reason I want to have that one, we don't seem to have any greenery production. Unless we start getting some good greenery cards, um, we're going to be in trouble for making oxygen. So that's kind of why I want the steelworks out there. All right, um, that's all good to go. Uh, and I think, really, that's the end of Generation 1. Uh, so now we go into the production phase, or the, is that what it's called, production phase? I, yeah, the production phase. So we first thing we look at is energy. Do we have any energy to move to heat? No, we don't. Uh, so let's start off with our mega credits. We're sitting at 14, so we're going to get 14 mega credits, which sounds horrendous as I throw these slippery little cubes around. Um, so we're sitting here with 14 mega credits. We started with a lot. We have no steel production. We have one titanium production. No greenery, no uh, energy. We do produce five heat, though. And remember, our special ability is we can spend heat <clears throat> as mega credits. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So that's basically the end of generation one. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We're going to be starting off by taking four cards. So for generation two, four cards, and we're going to see if we want to purchase any of them. All right, so we're about to begin generation two. I think I've got everything covered off here. So what we do is we take uh, four cards off the top of the deck. One, two, three. Oh, I just happened to grab four. Um, and we go ahead, I do believe, and see what they are. And then we can uh, pay three mega credits each to keep them. Uh, so local heat trapping is an event. It's a one-shot card. We spend five energy, and we can gain four plants or add two animals to another card. Do we want to gain four plants? I don't know. We can spend energy for mega credits. Hmm, I have to think about this great escarpment costing six. We have to have uh, iron production. We don't have any iron production. Uh, so this is probably not a great card. Plantation, wow, costing 15. Requires two science tags. Place a greenery tile, raise oxygen one step. That's just a one shot. Ooh, like it's not an ongoing effect. That's not the greatest. Mining rights, costing us nine. Um, Place this, or we get to place a special mining tile uh, on an area with steel or titanium placement. Increase production, one, that production one step. Ooh, that's actually.
pretty good. We're kind of going the titanium production route. We could probably get a steel production going as well. It helps us uh, pay for cards later on. So I think we're not going to worry about these three. Uh, we are going to keep mining rights, but that's going to cost us three mega credits. And we don't have many. That leaves us now 11 mega credits plus five energy um, that we can spend as mega credits because that's Helion's ability. Okay, and then looking at our cards, we can't play ice cap melting. Again, we don't have the temperature requirement. We can play either mining rights or convoy from Europa. Convoy from Europa lets us drop a, a water tile on the map and we get to draw a card, so we just draw a card for free, costing 15. We only have 11 and we have five energy, so we could take four of our energy plus the 11 here to play Convoy from Europa, or we could just spend nine and do mining rights. I don't know if we should drop this one now. Uh, I think, oh, well, we do have titanium as well. We could spend three off the titanium, pay for this. Three, that would leave us 12. So I could do 11 here and one energy to um, go ahead and drop this card. I have to come back. I'm going to have to think about what I want to do here. We'll come back and continue on with Generation 2. All right, I've been thinking about it. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do mining rights. We have a titanium production already, which is going to help us pay extra for this one next generation. So I think we're going to hold off on that one just for another turn or another generation or two. We are going to spend nine, though. We're not going to spend it off our heat. We're going to spend it right out of our mega credit pool. Now, if we had iron, we could help pay for it, or steel, but we don't have steel. But we will now get to place the special tile down on the map, um, and you get, you gr you're, we're going to get the resources that it lands on, and then we can increase either uh, steel or titanium production, depending on where we put this tile. So let's go to the main map. We're going to be playing this. It's going to give us another um, steel tag. Paid for it. Let's go to the map and place the special mining tile down. Oh goodness. Alright, so I've decided where we're going to place our mine. Uh, we're going to put the mine down here in Pavonis Mons. It's going to give us a titanium and a plant. Uh, and we have to put our colored marker on here. This is our mine, which means now any tiles we start placing from now on have to go adjacent to this one. Uh, so we're going to get a titanium and a plant and increase our titanium production by one. Let's go back to our uh, main board and get that set up. Okay, well we get to increase titanium production one. We get a titanium for that mine, and we also get one plant, so not a heck of a lot. Uh, we're going to zoom down, we're going to do our production phase next. Alright, it's the production time for the end of Generation 2. First thing, do we have any energy to move to heat? We do not. So, let's go to our mega credits. We're still sitting at 14, uh, so that's not the greatest. We're not much for mega credits, so giving 15, taking one back. We have 16 mega credits. No iron production. We do have two titanium production now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to put two titanium in there. We've got four, no plant production, no heat production. We have five, um, oh, sorry, no energy production, five heat production for ten. We're going to zoom out. We're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our episode for today, Generations 1 and 2 of Helion. We've got a nice mine going here for titanium. Um, so that's going to help us with a lot of uh, cards that need titanium as a requirement. However, we don't really have any greenery production that I can see. <laughs> we're going to have trouble with oxygen, but we do have our iron works, which can pump the oxygen up. I don't think we're going to have a problem with heat. We're producing already five heat a turn, or generation. But we've got to drop the water tiles. We've got to get our oxygen up. We've got to get it all done by 14 generations. All right, so thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Really appreciate it. This is Terraforming Mars Solo once again. Uh, we're doing Helion now. I think this is the third time I've played this on uh, my channel. I really like this game. It's a really fun uh, little solo experience. And uh, it can also, of course, be played multiplayer. But we're not, and we don't deal with milestones and awards in solo. So it makes it for filming a little bit easier, less brain uh, straining than trying to do a multiplayer playthrough here on my channel. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in Generations 3 and 4 next time.